today I'm going to show you my sloppy joe recipe. So in the last video you saw, you saw me make homemade ketchup. This is the recipe that it's for. So in here I have about, I want to say a cup and a half of ketchup. And so to the ketchup, and you could use fresh ingredients if you have fresh, I do not. So I'm going to use some of my dehydrated onion, or about a half of, um, mm, half an onion. And then, um, if you have green pepper, it's really good in here. Um, I have some dehydrated, but I need to find it. I'm not sure exactly where it is. So um, if you have that, add that. Some garlic powder maybe a teaspoon of that. If you want to make it spicy, um, you can add some red pepper flakes. I am not going to add any more red pepper or black pepper or salt at this time because of what's in my ketchup. I am going to go ahead and add some tomato sauce or you could use um, tomato paste if that is what you have. maybe a cup of tomato sauce because we're going to let this reduce down and our onions are going to dehydrate rehydrate um so when it does that it's going to need liquid about two tablespoons of worcestershire and then i like putting brown sugar I just love the flavor of brown sugar. And I eyeball it all because you can always um, adjust your taste, but I'm gonna say that's about a third a cup like packed. Give that a nice stir. And then I'm going ahead and I'm going to add in two pints of my um, hamburger, home canned hamburger. All right, so I added in the two uh, pints of that, and I went ahead and added the little bit of juice that was in there because since it's going to reduce down, I think it's just going to give more flavor, and I'd hate to waste it and just drain it out. So I'm going to bring it up to a boil and then just let it simmer for probably about 20 to 30 minutes until everything comes together and the sauce starts to thicken up and then I'll give it a taste see if it needs anything more sugar more salt um, this or that and then it's time to eat and I am so excited and if you haven't seen um, that ketchup recipe I will make sure and put it in the I cards because it's some good stuff and it is great if you don't have any on hand um, because most people that have a well-stocked pantry have some type of tomato product. And whether it be juice, paste, or sauce, you can make this ketchup recipe. And it is so good in here because it is so flavorful. It really flavors your Sloppy Joes really well. So I hope you stick around for the finished product. All right, so this has gone for about 45 minutes. Um, at the 25 minute mark, it was still too liquidy for my taste, but it actually would have been perfect if you like it saucy. I like it thick. I want it to stand up on its own like that versus um, being real saucy and making your um, bun soggy. Um, also, when I tested it at the 25 minute mark, it still needed a little sugar, so I added another third a cup. So this has two thirds a cup of brown sugar in it. It is perfect. Ten times better than any manwich you will ever, ever get. Um, and mm, it is, <laughs> it's so good. Um, so I'm going to get ready and turn off the heat. I'm going to get this plated up with um, the sides that I made for this and then I will give you a taste test. All right, guys, so just to give you a t um, an example of how thick and wonderful this is, that is it on a bun. I hear you, baby. I'm getting you. This is it on a bun. You can see it is all um, standing on its own. It is just 
Oh no. It is so good. So this one is going to be my daughter's. Um, I'm going to cut it in half of them. But I just wanted to show you how wonderful this stuff looks. And of course tastes. Like she's trying to get it right now. The little fingers. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.